Hi, today I'm going to get the COVID-19 vaccine. I wanted to make this video because I felt like I wanted to share my own experience to help others realize the process and to answer any questions that others may have and any fears that some people are going through right now, debating if they're gonna get the shot, if they're not gonna get the shot. I have spoken with so many people and a lot of people wanna get the shot, but there are a lot of people who are very scared to because they don't know what's gonna happen. They don't know how they're gonna feel afterwards, if it's gonna leave any damage to their body. But for me, I have epilepsy and I felt that it would be a good idea for me to get it because I was unsure how I would feel and what would happen to me if I did get the virus. What it would do to my epilepsy, would it increase my seizures, would it cause any problems in the future, and if my body would worsen with the condition that I struggle with on a daily basis. So I decided to get the shot for myself. And today I'm gonna let, take this little journey with you and share how I, what the process was, what I had to go through, and, ex and explain how I felt afterwards and what this shot did to me and anything uh, else that occurs during this event. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment box and I'll be happy to answer any questions possible. Thank you. There were tons of military officers all around. I would say about 80% of the people there were military officers. And then they had a small amount of healthcare workers working there to help administer with the vaccinations. When I got there, they were different um, destinations that you had to go through, and they sent you from one area to the next, and then they showed you where you had to go after you finished. So when I got there, they logged me in, uh, they checked my information, and then they asked me to go to the next destination where I gave them um, my computer email showing that um, I was registered to be there, and then I went from destination to destination. Then finally, when I got to the health care workers, they sat me down and they asked me about um, my personal medical history. They wanted to make sure that I didn't have COVID recently because it's not good to get a COVID vaccine when you just recently had the virus. So they asked me about that. And they also asked me other questions uh, regarding if I had any allergies or any allergic reactions to any specific things. And as, after I answered all the questions, I had a couple of questions of my own. And I suggest that you also um, consider uh, writing down some questions. If you're concerned about certain things or you wanna know certain things before you get the shot, write them down and then ask them so they can give you the appropriate answers. Because sometimes you don't always get the exact answers you need on the internet or you might not get them from good resources. Just so you make sure you get the, the right answers, write some questions down and ask the people who do this for a living, the people who know their material, who know their, um, their topic, and can give you the uh, right answers to the right questions. Then once I had asked my questions and they were answered, I had um, uh, lifted up my arm sleeve so she can give me uh, the vaccination and she gave me the vaccination and then she um, asked me to go to a different location where they had me sit down for 15 minutes to make sure that I didn't have any type of allergic reactions and once I was cleared they let me go. Uh, during the car ride home I felt a little fatigue but I didn't it wasn't anything major I didn't have chronic fatigueness um, I only had uh, just a little bit of slight tiredness where my eye around my eyes I felt a little tired and I started to feel, you know, just a little bit, uh, you know, on the drowsy side where I felt like, you know, I needed a little nap. So when I got home, I took about an, a nap for about an hour. Then I got up and I felt fine. I noticed uh, towards the end of the night, I felt a little bit of soreness where I got the, um, the uh, vaccination. I had it right about here on my upper arm is where they administered it. And they, uh, that was where I felt the, um, the soreness. It was just right exactly where they stuck the needle in my arm. And then as the night went on, I noticed that my arm became just very, very, very slightly swollen in that area. Probably from this up was a little bit swollen and a little sore. And when I went to bed, my arm was a little sore. So I slept on a different side. And I just, uh, I noticed that as the, the night 
uh, went on that it was getting better. So when I woke up in the morning, I did still, I had the soreness, um, but it was starting to decrease. Uh, it's been about 24 hours now and I still have some soreness, but um, it's not the same type of soreness that I had when I went to bed last night. It's definitely getting better as time goes on. So the only um, side effects that I experienced personally were slight fatigue, um, soreness in my arm, a little bit of swollenness, but nothing so visible that someone would actually notice, and some stiffening in my arm um, due to probably the inflammation and due to um, the uh, shot, uh, you know, caused um, the uh, soreness. And, um, you know, as time went on, it got better. And uh, right now, after 24 hours, I still have a little bit of soreness right over here. And this is where they actually um, gave me the shot, right in this area. So it's still a little bit sore there. Uh, but I can move my arm up and down. It doesn't hurt. It just feels a little sore in that area. But nothing that I can't handle or it's like so so uh, significant that, you know, it's, it's you know, dramatizing. Not at all. It's uh, th these uh, side effects were very small, and uh, I didn't have any problems whatsoever. Now, if you have any questions that you'd like to ask me about my experience, um, please feel free to leave it in the comment box. I'd be happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, I wanted to actually take more pictures and show you more things, but due to the other people that were there getting their shots and to respect their privacy. Uh, they asked everybody there uh, to please put their phones and cameras away so we could all respect each other's privacy. So in that respect, I couldn't take a lot of pictures inside, but it was just like any other medical facility. It was very well organized. It was very safe. They made sure they had a lot of um, police officers and military officers there so no problems would occur. And the military was helping out a lot uh, to make this happen and thumbs up for you guys and for the healthcare workers and for the police officers. Thank you so much for everybody for what you're doing. And before I go, like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me and you know, uh, I'll be happy to answer them. Thank you so much. Have a great day.